So what have we got today? The Hexo Plus drone lets you play with yourself. Let's focus on that. Hero Plus Autonomous, I mean Hexo Plus Autonomous Camera Drone. Yes, the Hexo Plus. Which, By the way, looks nothing to after like chat. This is our new uh, short format that we're going to work with. Uh, we decided that the uh, long once a week format wasn't really working for us, so we're going to break this down into daily chunks that you could watch while you eat your breakfast. So I'm Tom. This is Ryan. Let's keep going. So the the Hexo Plus autonomous drone. Uh, yeah, this thing is actually kind of cool. It is a six bladed drone, which is why it's Hexo, not a quadcopter. It's Hexo because it's Hero without the letter that they wanted to use. Well, that too. So they merge the two together. Yep. What it does, and this is great, is it has an app you put on your phone, and it follows you around. Like some bad sci-fi movie. The drone follows you around. It has a top speed of like 40 miles an hour or something ridiculous like that. A good sci-fi movie, but yeah, <laughs> it's a sci-fi movie. It, it's designed to follow... A, extreme athletes as they go out and you know do their crazy cliff jumping or snowboarding or whatever so they don't just have the the GoPro Hero Plus you know in their helmet and you see their point of view but you can also follow what they're doing or like the camera can at least hmm. um, at least that's the idea that's you know typically this has been done by just taking someone else out with you who has a camera so oh, now yeah. you can go out by yourself and do this. So three hundred dollar for a DIY kit. That's pretty reasonable. And then for six hundred, you get it already made all the way up. And for seven hundred, you get it with the camera, with a GoPro Hero Three. Hmm. So you get the fully built thing with the Hero Three already in it. That's very cool. This is happening because as the time we're recording this, they've already well surpassed their Kickstarter goal. Uh, they could still just not do it, but like, like, that's Kickstarter. You're basically taking advantage of the fact that you're going to have your phone on you anyway, so you use your phone as your way of tracking you. So that's actually kind of neat. Oh, so yeah. Staying on the, on the Kickstarter. Oh, yeah, the Kickstarter. Um, a couple weeks ago, I talked. Downs. Yeah, ups and downs. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I talked about get, ordering my Raglite Mini from their Kickstarter, which we thought was, I, I was pretty well certain was going to go through because with you know, they were asking for 25000 they had 18000 already, and they still had, like, a more than a week and a half to go. They ended up only getting $19,000. What a shame. Yeah, they had 11000 more to pick up in their, in the, not even, you know, they were well past half, with basically half their time left, and they, they didn't make it. Uh, they are going to try and relaunch it. They, they sent out the email to all their backers and said, hey, we're going to try and relaunch, we're going to put a new video out, but... How often does that happen? How often does it work? I think it's worked a couple of times. I think there's a, there have been a few things that worked like that, which they probably will be one of them, but it's still tough to see. So they we were talking about this earlier. The Metro Parks Police, was like Clinton, Michigan, yep. threatened an aerial photographer with confiscating his drone. So it's, the quote is, we don't allow these in these parks. It's a public safety issue. I understand what, what they're, they're trying to say. It's a public safety issue, but the guy wasn't doing anything that would cause it to be a public safety issue. Yeah. The cops obviously were like, well, you know, if you hit somebody, we're liable. And the, the guy who, who was flying, it's like, well, no, actually, I'm liable. And this, I mean, this is a, not a commercial thing. This is somebody with their drone toy. It's like a helicopter. It wasn't a commercial flight rig. It's not a yeah. huge eight-blade copter. His name is Jonathan Hare, and he basically just said, okay, can you please cite me the ordinance that I'm you know, breaking. Can you, you know, he, was, he, he gave them his ID, they gave him, he gave him, you know, his name, and that was about it. That's about all he'd give them because he said, until you want to arrest me or cite me for something and you can tell me what statute I'm violating, I'm not giving you my drone. It's something you very easily see happening. It's not, I'm not surprised. Yeah. If you see paper sticking to me, it's because it's like 90 degrees yeah, up here today. Yeah, here. It's a little sticky in here tonight. The one last thing to hit on here, which, which I had cut out of this originally, but I, I felt uh, we needed to bring this back up again, is the uh, National Park Service. They've already started banning the drones in a handful of parks, and they at least have the laws to leverage to do that because there's old statutes on the books that give the National Forest Service that jurisdiction to do that. Um, but now they're up to like 14 or 15 parks that have enacted these rules. 
So they're going to go system wide in all 401 parks. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with that, really. But, um, but they still will allow you to get a permit to fly them. So yeah, you just it, have to in go. In a lot of cases, you should. That's yeah, you should be anyway. But so yeah, it's just they just want you to go and get a permit first. They want to know you're doing it. Because from the sounds of it, they haven't really said no to anyone who's filled out the paperwork. Yeah, I think there's probably some cost involved there, but yeah, it's... you might have to pay thirty bucks for the permit for the day. Ooh. Well, you never know. I mean, the, you're you're asking for a permit to a commercial flying law, so it might be a lot more than that. It might be. It's the same permit to fly a freaking helicopter. So that is true. It is the same. Um, permit. It might be several thousand dollars. You never know. Yeah. Eh. So right. we down to the eight ten. Oh no, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's oh. tomorrow. We're going to talk about the eight ten. Oh well. See, this is the great thing about the new short format. Is that I'm going to confuse Ryan because he's going to look at tomorrow's stuff ahead of time. Yeah. So I'm just going to. Yeah, fold that up now. Yeah. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.